Well, we know what has brought him back. He is back for revenge. What enticed you back after such a long break? Um, well, I was over in LA doing a film and um, I got an email off, uh, off Hollyoaks, just, you know, just interested if, if I would be interested in coming back. And um, I was in the process of setting up an acting school in Manchester called First Take Media Group. And it just was the perfect timing. I mean, me and Brian are, are good friends, you know, he, he, he brought me into Hollyoaks originally. Yeah. And um, the, the, I had a meeting with him and he explained what he had in store and it was just kind of too good to turn down. I mean, the chance to go back and play a character after five years, I mean, I can't believe it's been five years. I but, know. You know, after being in jail for five years, it's like starting with a blank canvas. I mean, there's so many new characters there now to, to kind of explore. And... Well, I mean, 2011, finally found guilty of Louise's murder, so that is five years in prison yeah. for murder. Yeah. So he actually... He must have been really good in there. <laughs> How the hell did he get out so soon? Well, um, James, who plays his lawyer, um, he... he uh, he got him out on a technicality and that's why he, he goes back to the village um, because he's left the key there before he went in prison with which leads to a big pot of money and um, he owes him the money for, for getting him out and um, and whilst going back he thinks well I'll kill two birds with one stone and so he, to speak so to speak yeah, and um, yeah <laughs> many times <laughs> and he goes you know he 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 meets Maxine abroad and um, she doesn't know who he is. He mm. he, he he pretends he's, well, he's Mike. Mike. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's he, he he gets his revenge on her also. So and he has also teamed up with Sienna. So yes. this is double trouble. It is. Yeah, I mean they're two very dark characters, and um, Anna Passy is just fantastic to work with. She's a great actress, and um, we're having a lot of fun doing the scenes. And um, yeah. And what's going on between yeah. them? Because there seems like there's a bit of chemistry there. Yeah, and there was there was kind of an instant attraction between them both, and um, you know, it's. Uh, I think they're going to explore something in that. I'm not sure what yet, but um, do they have a kiss? Don't they next week? Maybe. So we'll it's not all. The return is not all about vengeance. No, no, not at all. I mean, he comes out. He, he you know, he's try something bad happened to him while he was in jail. Um, I can't say too much about it at the moment. We do get to know about. Yes, that, we do. You? Yeah, in the next in the next few weeks, and he's he's trying to be good, but you know, a leopard never changes its spots. No, <laughs> uh, especially in Saltland. <laughs> you say you're buzzing to be back. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, like I said, you know, we, we five years away, and I always loved playing that character. He was, you know, the writers um, always did an amazing job writing for him, and. Um, I kind of did everything last time I was there and, you know, I, I obviously wanted to go away and explore other things, which I did. I went and did a EastEnders for a year and... Um, a tough, that was a tough uh, storyline. Yeah, it, really it? tough, you know, and um, it, it, to play an alcoholic, I, I, I did, you know, enormous amount of uh, research on that and mm. went to AA meetings, talked to alcoholics at length and mm. I think you have to if yeah, you're gonna, you you're gonna um, approach a storyline like that and, mm. you know, I was really honoured that they'd trusted me with that storyline. But you so. said that you were in uh, LA when you got the phone call. Yes. And, uh, and we know that, you know, you are pursuing that aspect of your career of with great vigour. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so if you'd just done a movie there, yeah. must have been hard because, you, you know, the momentum looked like it was almost yeah, it was, but you know, as as an actor, you know, you you you're kind of working, and then when you're out of work, you're yeah. still used to living a lifestyle. <laughs> but the money's not coming yeah. in, so you know, sometimes we, you know we have to. Uh, that's which is why I was one of the reasons I was setting up the acting school, and mm. you know, in order for everyone for, has to the, have a plan. B. Of yeah, course, well, no, exactly. Yeah, of course, but sometimes the plan B distracts you from plan A. <laughs> so, and also, um, you know, when you're going into Hollyoaks, the chances yeah. are, from the waist up, you're going to have to appear naked quite a few times. Yeah, I started training, but, like, now I wish they'd have done my, my, my top of scenes now rather than when I first started training. Because you hadn't quite completed it. I hadn't quite completed it, but, <laughs> you know, it is what it is, and, um, you know, I'm quite happy at the moment. I'm training ha really hard. And uh, You said that, um, that you learnt a lot about yourself when you were in LA and yeah. when you were there alone. So what did you learn about yourself? Just, um, <clears throat> you know, just a lot about life, really, and helping others, and that's kind of one of my my motivations. We're, my acting school is a motivational school, and, um, you know, we really we really motivate our you students. Got into, you got into the meditation thing? Yeah, I did, yeah, you definitely. You still do that now? Yeah, I, well, when I can, I mean, I'm so busy at the moment, and um, I'm literally getting up at five in the morning, going to the gym at six, 
working all day at work till seven o'clock and then teaching twice a week till ten o'clock. So. Well, you know what? Everybody seems to be very happy that you're back. Really? Social media's gone bonkers. T says, my favourite Hollyoaks character, his character in EastEnders was just not the same. He belongs to Hollyoaks. So glad he's back. Claire says, it's about time. My favourite man ever. I cannot wait to see more of him. Well, now he's completed his uh, something. You know, he's all ready to show his torso a bit more. Yeah. Becky says, oh, I love a bad boy. And Warren is the baddest of the bad. Thank you, Hollyoaks. And Lisa says, Hollyoaks is about to kick off. Paul Maxine, lucky us. Yes, yes. So it's it's always good to play a bad lad. Oh, it's it? the best, you know, it's the most... I get, to be to, I get to be horrible to people at work and get paid for it. You know? <laughs> and I'll go, I'm only acting, sorry. <laughs> and good to have a response like that when you come back. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, that's one of the reasons as well why I came back for the fans and, yeah. you know, not just for the for the old fans, but the new fans who never yeah. really got the chance to see Warren. Well, and... It's good to have you back. It is. Hollyoaks weekdays you. at 6.30 on Channel 4. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Is well, it Holby okay. City you wanted to have a shot at? Oh, well done. Yeah, it <laughs> is. Do you know what? I, I've just done this, and I, I loved all the medical terminology. I loved did getting up. Yeah, I loved all the hospital scenes. I loved all the gore and everything that we <laughs> oh, did. Oh, yeah, So what would you like? I don't know. I was, I was thinking like um, a porter or something with a heart. Yeah. But with a, but, but as, as always, I play with a dark side. Oh. <laughs>